standard 6 subject maths topic for today is bar graphs and we are going to learn how to solve practice set 18 let's recall observe the picture alongside to which sport is this data related yes you can look by looking at the picture you can understand that it is the picture showing the scores of a cricket match okay to which sport is this data related then it is related to cricket second how many things does the picture tell us about the picture tells us about the runs the overs okay the wickets question number 3 what shape has been used in the picture to represent runs runs have been uh, shown by bars okay rectangular bars so in this chapter you are going to study about bar graphs let's have a look at the answers to this questions the given data is related to cricket first question is answered here second how many things does the picture tell us about the picture tells us about runs scored in different overs by india and sri lanka the picture represents the wickets fallen in that over and third question what shape has been used in the picture to represent runs to represent runs rectangular or bar shape is used so just looking at the picture we were able to answer this questions okay so graph is meant to be drawn and then we can answer the questions based on them we have seen how to make pictograms for given numerical data last year in fifth standard you had a lesson where you had to draw pictographs when the scale is given numerical information can be obtained by counting the pictures example a pictogram of the types and numbers of vehicles in a town is given below taking one picture is equal to five vehicles write their number in the pictogram so bicycle one stands for total five vehicles so like that each picture stands for five vehicles each that means we will have to count the number of bicycles in the picture and multiply it by 5 to obtain the exact number of bicycles that are given in this data so let's have a look bicycle count 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 multiplied by 5 answer 30 same way motorcycle count how many 1 2 3 4 5 5 and again multiply by 5 you get answer 25 next auto rickshaw just one so 1 into 5 5 bullock carts 3 into 5 15 so this way you know how to read a pictorial data or a pictogram okay so now we are going to learn about graph how to use a graph paper let's learn so for this chapter or rather this practice set you will need graph paper okay looking at the graph paper you will understand now for practice set 18 you need not require to have a graph paper because it will be based on question answer round okay the graph will be already given but next practice set that is practice set 19 you will have to keep a graph paper or a graph book ready so that you can accordingly solve uh, accordingly draw the required graphs okay so let's see what is a graph paper observe the graph paper shown here you can also open your textbook to page 36 there are some bold and some faint lines on it the bold lines that is a dark lines dark pink color show a certain big unit this unit is divided into small units which are shown by the faint lines so each box you will see 1 cm box which is of a dark lines and inside it there are 10 horizontal lines 10 vertical lines completing a square each so this way the grid formed by these lines 
makes it easy to select a suitable scale and draw columns of the proper height. Now how do you mark your x-axis and y-axis? Pay careful attention. Near the lower edge of the paper, a horizontal line is drawn as a base. So one complete pink color box you leave and from base on the dark pink color line draw a horizontal line mark two arrows towards the ends and denote alphabet X towards the end of the line which will say that it is X axis. So it is called the X axis. A line perpendicular means a horizontal line to the X axis is drawn on the left side of the paper. So look at the left side straight line okay leaving one box exactly on dark pink color you will draw the Y axis. Okay, now graph paper is mostly green in color. So you will have dark green lines. So check proper dark green line leaving one box from the left side. And from the bottom one box you will leave and on the dark green line you will form your X axis and Y axis respectively. You will see that they intersect each other at a particular point. Okay, that you have to mark as zero. Then you will begin your scale there. So this is the basic that you should know about using a graph paper. Now once you have drawn your x-axis and y-axis, the items about which the graph is to be drawn are taken on the x-axis. For example, names of vehicles is shown in this graph. So right below names of vehicles you have left one box for that so write names of vehicles and then taking equal distance so leave one box mark for bicycle another box you leave and mark for motorcycle leave one more box and exactly mark rickshaw now they have you shown your half half box they have marked you can take one full entire box that will be more convenient okay so the items about which the graph is to be drawn are taken on the x-axis at equal distance from each other. This is very important. The boxes that you are drawing should be at equal distance from each other. So always leave one one box and draw. The number related to each item is shown above by a vertical column. This column is parallel to the y-axis and of the proper height according to the chosen scale. Now, what does scale mean? Scale is always on y-axis. The items you represent on x-axis and the scale is on y-axis. One unit means one box is equal to five vehicles we have taken here. Now, how to choose the unit? What unit to take? For one unit, how many vehicles? You will have to check in the question which numbers are given to you. And they are multiples of which number? Like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, if such numbers are there, we know they are divisible by 5. So we take 1 unit is equal to 5 vehicles and from 0, leave exactly 10 small lines which will complete one box and mark 5. Next box, dark, dark color line, 10. Then next dark line, 15, 20 and so on. So this way you are preparing your number of vehicles to be marked on the y-axis. So, now let us convert the pictogram shown on page 35 into a bar graph. In the graph, we have to show certain vehicles and the number which are 15, 5, 15, 25 and 30. So, as I mentioned earlier, let us take a scale of 5 vehicles is equal to 1 unit. You can see the finished graph now in the picture. Looking at the graph, if I ask you, how many bicycles? So, you will say, 30 bicycles. How many motorcycles? 25. How many rickshaws? 5. And how many bullock carts? 15. So just now what we saw earlier as a pictograph, same we have done on a graph paper. Same questions are answered using a bar graph. So this way in this chapter you are going to answer questions to bar graph as well as later on draw bar graphs. So, in practice at 18, you just have to answer the questions looking at the bar graph which is provided. 
सो लेट्स मूव अ हेड टू प्रैक्टिस सेट नंबर एटीन दिस बारग्राफ शोज द मैग्जिम टेम्परेचर्स इन डिग्री सेल्शियस इन डिफरेंट सिटीज ऑन अ सर्टन डे इन फेब्रुवरी ऑब्जर्व द ग्राफ एंड आंसर द क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट यू सी द एक्स एक्सेस इज मार्क्ड विथ सिटीज वाई एक्सेस इज मार्क्ड विथ टेम्परेचर एंड स्केल इज गिवन वन यूनिट इज इक्वल टू फाइव डिग्री सेल्शियस सो नाउ वी कैन रीड द टेम्परेचर्स वेरी इजीली Let's have a look at the questions. First, what data is shown on the vertical and the horizontal lines? So let's discuss this in the solution set itself. Okay, tell me what data you can see in the vertical and the horizontal lines? Yes. Think about it. Vertical. means the straight and horizontal means the bottom line the x axis so on y axis you see the temperature and on x axis you see the names of the cities okay so temperature is shown on the vertical line that is y axis and cities are shown on the horizontal line that is x axis second question which city had the highest temperature now look at the graph which graph shows highest the chandrapur which is 35 degree celsius so they have not asked how much so we will just name the city which city the city chandrapur had the highest temperature question number 3 which cities had equal maximum temperatures so can you see any graphs equal yes the first and the fourth one so go down have a look at the name of the cities panjgani and mathiran so panjgani and mathiran have equal temperatures maximum but the question is okay which cities had equal maximum temperatures equal so we have panjgani and mathiran but we have to check out at the same time if there are other cities also which have equal so yes one is 30 and the other one is also 30 second and the fifth that is pune and nashik so your answer will be pune and nashik has the equal maximum temperature of 30 degree celsius and panchgani and mathiran had the equal maximum temperature of 25 degree celsius now you will say maximum temperature is 30 not 25 but look at the question maximum temperatures of cities are given in degree celsius so each one has its own maximum temperature so we have to mention all the cities which have equal maximum temperatures so we got two pairs first pune and nashik and second mathiran and panjgani okay question number 4 which cities had a maximum temperature of 30 degree celsius so just now we saw that pune and nashik had a maximum temperature of 30 degree celsius what is the difference between the maximum temperatures of panchgani and chandrapur have a look at panchgani it's 25 and chandrapur is 35 so the differences by looking only you will come to know 25 to 35 is 10 35 minus 25 is 10 degree celsius so the working is shown here the difference between the maximum temperatures of panchgani and chandrapur can be calculated as difference in the temperature is equal to temperature of chandrapur minus temperature of panchgani which is 35 degree celsius minus 25 degree celsius equals to 10 degree celsius so this way in this practice set you have observed the bar graph and answered the questions related to it so i hope you found this quite simple and easy to understand students do practice the sums well in your book stay safe keep learning and thank you